Hey guys, this is Feeding Frenzy 91, and I'm just talking about exclusivity. Now, let me just briefly say, exclusivity in and of itself, it's not a bad thing. In fact, it can be a good thing because exclusivity can cause you to buy a certain console. Like certain games on certain consoles that are only on that console may cause you to want to buy the console. Like maybe Zelda with Nintendo or Halo with Microsoft. So I have no problem with exclusivity as itself, but I think it's getting a little bit out of hand. Why? Because back in the day, let me just go back, yes, I'm kind of oldish, so let's go back. Like during the GameCube era especially, most third-party games, I believe, came to all three systems. Whether it was GameCube, Xbox, or PS2, it just came to all three systems. Well, now what different companies are doing, like Microsoft, Sony, and Nintendo, Nintendo's not guiltless. When it comes to exclusives, not only like regular exclusives but like timed exclusives and all this different type of stuff like where companies i believe are being paid by these either sony microsoft or nintendo even in some cases i believe like to, to only be on their console for a certain amount of time and i just believe it's getting out of hand now i know also because of all the studios that are getting swept up by like sony and microsoft and even nintendo it just kind of ruins i think third party and i'm not saying it's bad i mean like some of these studios they're probably struggling and it's probably better for them to be bought by one of the big console companies as opposed to just trying to make it on their own but at the same time i think that the consumer loses like choice because sometimes a consumer may be like oh yeah this is my favorite franchise it's third party cool 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 i only have one con what it now became exclusive to this other console that I don't own. So if I want to play my favorite franchise, I have to move over to that other console? What? Like, I understand. It's business. But at the same time, it's just like, back when there were so many third-party companies and they were making their games basically for every one of the three major consoles, like, the consumer had choice. Nowadays, especially with these timed exclusives that I believe that may draw some people to be like, okay, I'll get that console because I don't want to wait six months or a year, depending on the circumstance, to get the the game. It just seems like it's ruining choice with the consumers because with so many of these companies being bought and so many exclusives and time exclusives coming out, we just don't seem to have as much choice as we used to. Like, it's nothing wrong with it. It's just kind of sad. But what do you guys think about exclusivity overall and timed exclusives and like what's going on just in the gaming industry? lately let me know in the comments below thanks for watching remember to like share and subscribe and may god bless you all